Hey guys, today we are going to talk about one of the most amazing decks and the reason it's so amazing, it's price point. Price point is $78 for an entire deck as well as 39 tickets. So we look at the second best deck or the second deck in the 2017 TCG player states, it's $708. So this deck is eight to nine times less expensive than the second best deck in this particular tournament. And you go all the way down from Adrazi Tron to Ad Nauseam to White Blue Control, Affinity, Grixis Delver, Grixis Delver, and then Tr and Tron again at $747. These are about the prices you expect to pay for. And what makes it so cheap and unique and something that if you bring to your FNM, it will surprise a lot of people and should be a ton of fun to play with is 42 lands. As 42 lands, one of the main cards is a common treasure hunt, one in a blue sorcery. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a non-land card. Then put all cards revealed this way into your hand. So you're hoping to hit land, land, and then this card, and then you can grab a essentially a pseudo ancestral recall if you hit double land and then a non land. With 42 lands, it's likely that you can hit something good. The other cards are swans, which is kind of your infinite kill mechanic. Lightning bolt, which is kind of a one of. Visions as a one of. Four treasure hunts, one anger of the god, but you do have a few more in your sideboard. Anger of the god pretty much beating the aggro decks. One of the things that you are not is you are not very fast with this deck. One day's undoing, two molten ver vertex, and then your win con seismetic assault. So you can go infinite or you can just draw enough of these to kill your opponent and then hope to draw that one lightning bolt to finish, although each mountain is pretty much a lightning bolt. So seismetic assault, triple red, Enchantment discard a card, it deals two damage to target creature or player, or discard a land card. So it does not have to be a mountain. And you might just go ahead, play this out, and draw a ton of cards from Treasure Hunt and just hit your opponent. All you have to do is hit your opponent 10 times with 10 different lands, and you will win the game. Now, it is possible one of the win scenarios is you combo it with Swans of Bryn Algonol, Agol, and that will create this infinite loop where you keep drawing and you keep damaging and you keep drawing and you keep damaging and eventually you can win out. But one of the more common ways to win is just to use Treasure Hunt to draw a ton of lands and use each of these lands to destroy your opponent essentially to the face. You're not worried about your opponent's creatures. You're not going to match them creature for creature. Overall, it is quite an interesting strategy. Very one dimension and very little to interact with. And you have four of these because this is the card that you most need in your deck. Now, what is the infinite combo? The infinite combo uses swans. It's two, a double blue, double white, or a blue and a white. Uh, flying is a 4 free. If a source would deal damage to it, prevent that damage, then the source's controller draws cards equal to the damage prevented this way. So if I throw two damage at it, then I'm going to draw, I'm going to prevent all damage. So it's not, I can keep hitting it over and over again. And every time I hit it for two, I get to draw two, which is very good because then I hopefully will draw a land because given the fact that I have 42 of them, and I can repeat this until I have no cards left in my deck, use the remaining land to kill my opponent to the face. Overall, a very interesting, intriguing deck, a unique deck, and that's what I kind of like about Modern is even now there's new iterations, there's new, completely new decks. This deck was, uh, I did review it at a earlier video, but it wasn't this good or it didn't win. Now it has won, I expect some of these cards to go up in price, if not altogether spike. Now anyway, leave me a comment below if you guys love this deck, or if you know what card and it will spike. I have a pretty good guess which one it is, 
it's not the one you expect, but leave me a comment below for what your best guess is for the card that will spike given the deck is now tier one. I, given the, it, it has won a TCG player state, that is the definition of tier one. Anyway, bye guys.